let's do it quickly. So uh, this is the hand that I knitted. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. And if I have any tutorials on this channel, I'm going to link it over here so you can knit it yourself. Um, this is the hat for my little one. My little one is two months old and it will fit her. Obviously it depends on the gauge you're going to get, but you probably don't want to even think about it. So I'm going to tell you what to do, what kind of yarn you use, what kind of needle I use. Maybe go with it and you'll definitely need a hat, but at the end of the day it could be either slightly smaller or slightly bigger than what I have over here. So anyway, it fits her head and she has now 37.5 centimeters. So maybe on the screen over here, the inches, what that is, although it's quite loose, and just because of the texture that I'm getting over here, which is, I'm telling you in a sec what it is, it, it's more kind of airy and stuff. I was looking for a fingering weight hat, but be more airy because it's July in Ireland, but we still need to wear these. The yarn I used, I used fingering weight yarn. I had uh, some leftovers from a beautiful friend that I received. Uh, she knitted sweater with it. So maybe on the screen over here if you're interested how it looks. Lovely. And this is a Sweet Georgia yarn, fingering weight yarn, tough lot. Love sock 80% support merino, 20% nylon. We have 425 yards, which is 388 meters. Pause, check on the screen. But any fingering will do, I would think. And then what else I used? I used 3.5 millimeter uh, knitting needles, US size 4. It is on 16 inch cable. I was able to knit in the round, so I didn't have to do any other methods or follow any of the methods of using the knitting needles. So basically once I cast it on, I was able to knit in the round. So I'm just moving stitches and I'm knitting and knitting and knitting and then I'm decreasing <laughs> and that's all. So for uh, the cast on, I used a uh, back loop castle method. Maybe I have it on the YouTube channel, so check that out. It's the easiest I do. It's not the prettiest, but because I have a double brim hole, double brim over here. So I'm basically folding a folded brim uh, over here. I knew that I need something that is quite stretchy, doesn't create any tension. And second of all, it's very easy to see those loops when you need to uh, pick it up. So I cast it on 80 stitches, but you may need more, you may really need less, depends how big hat you want to have. And I did one by one rib, which basically means that I do one knit, one purl until the end of the round and I repeat that. And I was repeating that because I wanted to achieve one inch brim section. I think that's the brim section. Anyway, uh, so I had to knit for two inches, right? And then I was folding it. I definitely have a video for that. So hopefully on the screen, if you're interested how to fold. So when you got to that stage, uh, then you can fold. And then I was, as it, may look, continue one by one. So check that out. It goes straight away to the next one. However, I did not. I did broken fisherman rib, uh, which means that I did one knit one purl for the first round. For the second round, I was knitting a knit stitch not through the stitch, but between the hole on the below stitch. And then I was doing a purl, um, a, stitch, a stitch as usual, and I was continuing that for a round. And those two rounds I was repeating until I had four inches over here. And because the pattern is quite stretchy, uh, it looks quite loose on the top of the head, but I like that, some people don't, because I don't want to mess with my baby's head around here. I just want to grab the hat, and in case I have to pull it, I'm just pulling and uh, by the extra fabric and also the pom pom at the end. And then once you get that four inch, I decided to decrease and my decrease over here, hopefully you may see, there are two lines going inside. I call it four points decrease. That means that I was having four markers in those points, but I was actually decreasing on before and after the marker every second round. And until I got to the number of stitches that I was happy with, I presume on the four, I don't remember now, but if you go to eight, you can do it. Or if you really want to get to four, you can do it too. Um, and then I was just basically, once I finished that, I stretch the yarn, the strand, cut it, use tapestry needle or needle through the stitches, pull it nicely, 
do it a few times, I like to do it a few times, even though it's like that, and then put it inside and secure it. Then I was, then I created a pom-pom, and I used the, these pumper makers, they're quite popular, I mean, like, they're everywhere, and this is approximately one and a half inch, you don't have to have a, a this fancy stuff, you can basically make one from the, um, cardboard, right? And then what you do, you just basically attach it to uh, the hat. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, have you tried it? See you next one. I have a playlist, Baby Knits, if you're interested. I have a playlist down below also called Free Patterns that I've knitted. Uh, also have other playlists like Only Hats, so you have a mixture of everything, socks, plenty that I've knitted, garments and so on. So check my channel, subscribe if you like. Keep on watching. See you in the next one. Bye.